Ran into you, Chelsea. Yep. Moscow. Were there? Mo Moscow. And why did Moscow? Moscow is in a place that, you know, um, is known for the big rock and roll crowds, but maybe I'm wrong. It was an amazing yeah. vibe that day. There was about 500,000 people, the whole... 500,000? Yeah. It was uh, all this energy, man. There was these helicopters and all these, like, so what, 15,000, like, soldiers and 50, guards? was it? flipping around, keeping everybody in line. These helicopters were flying like right over the kids. It was just, there was an electricity in the air that day that I don't think we saw at any of the other shows. It was really cool. What's it gotta be? I mean, when you're playing in front of half a million people, after, let's say, 100,000, do you just <laughs> lose concept of how many people? Because, I mean, that's like, that's definitely, as far as you can see, that's bigger than most cities. Richard, you have white hairs in your beard. <laughs> you have a silver stud under your lip. No, it's stuck there. there. Look at that. Pop it. What's up with that? But about the uh, crowd question, you know, you, you really don't think about it. You think about things like, uh, did you leave the stove on when you left for the airport? Oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> and what about you? I lost count after two hundred fifty-six thousand and three, and I had to. I started forgetting lyrics and stuff, so <laughs> I had to stop counting. Right. Well, we're gonna be back with more Headbangers Ball. We're hanging out with Metallica in San Francisco. Are we playing a video right now? Oh, we're gonna play Enter Sandman Enter the from Metallica. Why do you give it a boo? You just heard it too many times. I've seen it. Yeah. Have you seen that one? I know what happens at the end. Yeah. <laughs> well, in case you don't, and I'm sure you do, don't give it away. Watch don't it. Give it away. <laughs> Here's Metallica. Bay Harbor. This is what? What harbor is this? This is a very cold harbor in San Francisco somewhere. And this is like your hometown, right? I was born in that direction. And you said that when you were a kid, I guess you used to come out here with your dad, or? I used to cruise around here with my dad, get seasick, and, uh, you know, look at sharks. Now, I, that's what I heard. I heard this is like great white shark breeding ground out in San Francisco Harbor or something. Yeah, past the Golden Gate, which is in that direction. There's like tons of uh, great white sharks hanging out because that's where they breed. So, you know, if you want to get rid of anyone. I heard they like kids from Cincinnati. Yeah, you know, if you want, ever want to get rid of someone, you just go out there and just... You never hear from him again. That's right. Okay, we're going to be back hanging out with Metallica. This is a day with Metallica in San Francisco and night. And we'll be back with more Headbangers Ball. Blech. We'll do it for you, the MTV viewer. This is how he stays warm. So you've got you've had some time off right now, right? Yes, many many months. And you kind of getting crazy? Um, uh, having a really crazier, time. crazier. Still, still staying busy, you know. Still playing a lot of music and stuff like that. But uh, it's good to be home, man. Now, when you're on the road, is it kind of something? When you've been on, because you were on the road, how long? Couple, couple years. years. Couple I mean, years. pretty much nonstop. And it probably gets to be a point where you say, God, I want some time off. And then when you get off. How long is it before you want to get back out on the road? Um, this time it was a little... You're going to make a comment about me saying getting off, weren't you? I knew you were. No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. It was, uh, this time everybody had plans, you know, because we had so long to think about it, you know, to get home and do things. A couple people bought new houses, you know, that kind of vibe. You know, mm -hmm. you're trying to almost get domesticated. But it took me about six weeks before I, would, I could have the itch to play again. And I could play at any moment right now. I've been, got, you know, different little... Um, music happening side are you doing like stuff. little like tell me some of the side projects you're working on know. right now i don't know I, there's just you know there's a couple different people from different bands around that we've made some noise in my studio like like that uh, andreas from sepultura you know and uh kelly uh, smith from flotsam and uh aaron from laws rocket you know mm -hmm. Diff some different guys from just from the area and then also not just not just heavy music though actually i've been playing a lot more uh, like jazz music and uh Kind of heavy hillbilly type of music, stuff like that. Kind of what would heavy kind hillbilly of, be? Kind of what would cow, a heavy hillbilly be? Cow metal? What would, cause I, see, I, I like a style of music. I call it cow punk, which is like taking like Hank Williams and just putting it onto like 78 speed. Yeah, or George Jones and like oh, kicking George it up a bit. Day. Yeah, kicking it up, that kind of thing. And also, but also with some guys that have uh, like uh, rockabilly bands around here. And also John Marshall, you know, the place in Metal Church and took James's place when he got burned and all that uh -huh. stuff. We got a band called Long Ass Johnny and the Fabulous Y-Tones. And I uh, would do like... Couple, did a couple gigs at bars here, you right know, on. and uh, doing some, you know, old Elvis stuff, and then uh, ventures and uh, some of our own music too. So you just can't, you like, I guess you got the bug. You always want to be playing live, even if it's at a right. small club. You just always want to play. It's even better in clubs when we're playing that music too, because uh -huh. you can just, you know, it's just a good, good vibe all around. Real fun music, you know. 
Right on. We'll be back with more Metallica, binging and purging with Metallica. And if we get the water gets a little bit rougher, you may some, see some purging sooner than you think. <laughs> Stick around. Oosh. Just go hanging out with Metallica. And this is the first time a lot of people have even seen you guys for a while, except when you just came. Hey, man. I noticed that when you guys... Because the last time we saw you, Lars, you came by the studio just to talk about the uh, video that's out, but you didn't really do any other interviews other than that, right? That was it. That was pretty much part of the thing Amazing. me and Jason, the thing me and Jason did for, uh, for this contest. That was about it. Mm -hmm. Keeping a low profile. Okay. Now, the problem that happens sometimes when you keep a low profile, all sorts of weird rumors start. I mean, you were even reading, there's a Metallica Club magazine that even said something about the magazines about that they thought that Jason was dead or something again. or ag again and and is it is there any is there any is there any truth to that rumor it always looks white <laughs> very white <laughs> white as white as man in show business okay but but i mean i've heard rumors like oh you're not going to do any more albums you're not going to go play i i don't think I'm these not. these are the things that the readers that and and people that write to us at the ball ask these things i'm on break man leave me alone how about you uh-huh oh yeah you're dead <laughs> <laughs> but are you got guys guys Damn, planning on what are you doing? I'm asleep right now. Actually, you can't tell. He's just modifying himself. Hi. <laughs> We're finding out so much. Well, let me tell you who these guys are. This is the PJ and BJ show tonight yeah. on the Headbangers Ball. Because these guys entered this big binge and purge contest with Metallica. And uh, which one? BJ, were you the one that won? You know how I know? Let me tell you something. I just want to tell you something. I'm so bad with names, but see this? I'm very glad that he wrote that on it. That's so he can read it, so he remembers it. Because it either means that, either means that this guy right here is PJ, or if he's BJ, it means that he's in love with PJ. I haven't figured out which one it actually is. This, this is PJ right here. This is BJ. Now, BJ is the one that won the contest, right? He's real confused right now. No, I'm real confused all the time. You're the one that won the contest, right? Yeah. I'm and how many uh, letters did you send in? 42. 42? Now, the thing that's, that's, that's nice about this time is you guys are like real Metallica fans, right? Yeah, we are. So any questions you want to ask him, you got an opportunity right now. Uh, oh, no, not Axel. Any questions about Metallica? Uh, no, not right now. No? How about you, PJ? Yeah. How, do you, how do you pronounce the instrumental on the second side of Ride the Lightning? The exact pronunciation. Cthulhu, man. I was right. Jesus Christ. No, go ahead. Cthulhu. About this all day long. Your friends got to get out more often. There's other things to argue about. Cthulhu. We'll be back with more Headbangers Ball hanging out in San Francisco with Metallica. Stick around. Our equipment finally made it back from the door. Yay! Now we can jam tonight. We're hanging out with Metallica in San Francisco, obviously. Ah! The Golden Gate Bridge. Wow. Now, for those people ah, that don't know... Tell them, man. There goes. <laughs> oh, yes. Okay. Yeah. James tells us this, this story. Now, I don't know if this is true or not, but he came up with this interesting uh, fact about the Golden Gate Bridge. Oh, if you take all the cable and unwrap it, and you can wrap it around the world like 200 times, or maybe just two, I don't know, something like that. Yeah. Or maybe 200 Different. yards. Something with 200 and cable. <laughs> now, we're going to get Ricky on the project right away. Next time they go on the road, they're going to take one of the cables, drag it behind the plane. I got a story. My dad was fishing one time at night, and someone jumped off the bridge landed right by his boat and he got the gaff out and started gaffing at the body but it washed away <laughs> but he did get his watch <laughs> <laughs> this is the kind of fun stuff we do with Metallica in San Francisco stay tuned and there'll be more fun stuff <laughs> Bobby Simpson hail Bobby check him that's a Metallica contest Bobby winner that's top it. of the world look at him Bangers Ball hanging out with Metallica and the contest winners, and we were just saying, Gush. that's what we were saying, we were saying here, doing, doing it at home. Gush. Tell us this place, we're outside of Tommy's Thank joints, 
And uh, this place is, has some uh, meaning to you. A lot of meaning to me, man. It's the first time I've been back here for seven and a half years since uh, them guys asked and me. And what happened seven and a half years ago, this restaurant? This fateful night uh, was, so uh, you know, back there on Halloween of uh, 86. And here we were. Parked the car right over there. Had some. And at that, time, at that time, you I, were. We just played for a couple hours together, you know? And uh, then they came. Well, this is it. I mean, a lot of people. This was the, the place. This is the place, this is the place that, that these guys told you said, that you were in Metallica. They said, Would you like to have a job? And I said, Yes, I would. And then after, again, you know, 10 days later, we were touring Japan. Now, does it seem like that long ago? I mean, 1986. It, it, you said you remember parking right there, yeah, walking right in there. I, haven't, I really haven't been back in this, on this block since that time. So it it is plain as day, you know. Really, it's just like yesterday. But a lot of stuff happened. A lot of stuff has happened between then and now, hasn't it? It's pretty wild. Now okay, yeah. well we're gonna go inside and eat. Yeah. We're hanging out in San Francisco with Metallica. We're in front of. Tommy's Joint, an establishment for sandwiches, and if we film outside of the place, I think we get free food or something, something basically like that. Anyways, have you guys set any sort of time reference on, like, maybe by this time we'll go into a studio, or this time maybe we'll go out on the road, or are you kind of just taking it as it goes? We don't know. Uh, 95, we'll probably be in the studio sometime. <laughs> 95, so we got about a year. 94, what, do you have any things that you are supposed to do in 94. I mean, three years nonstop on the road is, is, is pretty nuts, but I mean, there's so many Metallica fans that ask me, like, as if I would know, you know, what's Metallica doing? When are they going to go in the studio? When are they going to go out on the road? Just make stuff up, like we do. Okay, <laughs> so they're going to go in the studio about 95. 94, you're going to be doing... Mowing my lawn. Mowing the lawn. You got no lawn, do you? Okay. I, I lied. I don't have a lawn. I'm going to go mow James's lawn. Right. 94, he's going to be doing a gardening, develop a lawn, and then mow it. But 95, a record. Think you'll be doing any right. big live shows in 94? Don't know. Don't know. We're, we'll toss that around a bit. Now, for time off, you like really into hunting, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah. Like what kind of stuff? Uh, well, around here, there's a lot of duck hunting. There's pig, pheasant, stuff like that. Around here. Yeah, there was one right there. Yeah. <laughs> do a little city hunting. It's always fun. And what about you? Any kind of stuff you do to kind of unwind? I like to mowing and gardening. I like to sleep a lot and uh, wake up and uh, yeah, drive things to my left. Hey. Is this a new thing? Uh, I've had it for about uh, three or four weeks or so. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah. Well, we're going to be back in San Francisco hanging out with Metallica. Welcome back to the Headbangers Ball. Right now we're hanging out at a studio that a Metallica usually gets together, maybe does a little pre-production here, a little rehearsal here, just jamming like they're probably going to do tonight. And we're hanging out with BJ and PJ, and of course BJ is the uh, winner of the Binge and Purge, Purge with Metallica contest, and PJ is his buddy that he brought with him. And you're from where? what area? Cincinnati, Ohio. You said you sent in about 42 postcards or something like that? Yeah, I sent in 42. Now, I heard that you've been getting like all sorts of phone calls and stuff lately from other people yeah. trying to buy this yeah. prize or what happened? Uh, I had two girls call me from Cary, Ohio, wanting to buy my tickets, the plane tickets and stuff, and the trip. And they, they was wanting to give me like eight grand for it. Eight grand? Yeah, it was like six or eight grand. And you still decided to come here? Yeah. For $8,000. It's like a car. Yeah. Yeah, and the people always bugging you when they found out that you're going? Yeah, they were going to kill me. <laughs> like, they didn't want you to go. No, I couldn't leave the house. They was all going to run me over with cars, hit me with sticks, shoot me, stab me. But did they do that kind of stuff before also, or is this just something new? Well, now it's just a reason they have. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> when they did it, they just didn't have a reason. <laughs> so what do you think about the guys from Metallica? Uh, they're all real cool. Uh, I was surprised that they were so cool. They're all down to earth. Yeah. And, yeah. They having a pretty good time? Yeah, I'm having a real Enjoying good time. San Francisco? Yeah, I am. You, you've never even been out of Ohio, huh? No, not really. All right, well, say hi. You want to say hi to anybody in Ohio right now? Uh, hi, Mom. Uh, all my friends. Hi. There you go. We'll be back with more Metallica.
binging and purging with Metallica. <laughs> How long has it been since you guys have actually played together? Long. <laughs> it's been, what, about seven months? Yeah. July 4th, July 4th last year. And Pretty you kind scary. of miss just stuff like getting in a room and jamming together? No. Not at all. No. <laughs> actually, you dread it. You dreaded the fact that we actually brought you out of bed to get together and play again. I, know, I thought I had a year off, you know. Yeah, I always get talked into this stuff. I don't understand. You thought you had a year off about... Yeah. Two months ago when you came to Headbangers Ball to talk about the video. Frightening, frightening. No, it's cool. It's, uh, we're hanging at Jason's pad. You know, we've, uh, This is me and James' first time out here. Got his drums. and We're just going to have a little bash here with uh, BJ, DJ. RJ RJ and PJ. Or, yeah, somebody. It'll be cool, man. Um, have a little fun. You know, one of the things that I've, beer, that I've said to you a couple times, because I saw them, that like those guys, BJ and PJ, were like freaking when they were walking in here and going, oh my God, we're in the same room with Metallica, but the thing so, is... So was I, because I've never been here before. <laughs> I was freaking too when I walked in. <laughs> but, but one of the things is, for fans that like of Metallica, they don't look at you guys like you guys are just like out there and they can't relate. I mean, even though you've sold over 12 million records worldwide with the last album, they still feel like they can kind of relate to you. Well, I'd like to think so. I mean, it's all in the attitude, just you sell a lot of records or you play all these mega gigs or whatever i mean if you keep the attitude a pretty level thing then i think you're okay and like somehow we've been lucky enough to pull that off so far so <laughs> uh, but one more record sounds 12 million i don't know they're out of here they're out of here okay we'll be back with more headbangers ball hanging out with metallica <laughs> ball right now i'm hanging out with kirk and you are on vacation i mean you played three years non-stop now how often do you still pick up a guitar i try to pick up a guitar every day whether i do or not it's a different question altogether mm -hmm. you know but uh i i've been i've been dabbling with other types of music i've been playing a lot of jazz and blues and stuff that's like how to polish up by listening to some of like the legendary masters right absolutely and like um you know, it's just more of a, a hobby thing for me, playing jazz and stuff. It's a new thing. Can you ever see yourself, like, maybe breaking off for a bit and doing some kind of maybe solo jazz blues type record? Uh, in about 40 years? Uh, yeah, maybe when, when I'm, like... <laughs> You're big, uh, old, and fat. <laughs> uh, maybe when I'm just too old to, to get on a tour bus. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Mm -hmm. You know, all depends on uh, my, how my rheumatism is going to be. Does listening to some of the old players help you, you think, improve with some of the styles that you're playing? Uh, absolutely. Like, I, I like, who are some of the people that you listen to? Because maybe there's some guitarists, obviously, that listen to you as, uh, you know, as, this is the guy I want to listen yeah. to him play guitar. Who are some of the people that you listen to? I listen to Jimmy, Steve Ray Vaughan, Buddy Guy, John the Hooker. Jimmy uh, Martin, right? Jimmy Martin. <laughs> yeah, he's, well, he's the old school, too. Uh... <laughs> And, you know, a lot, a lot of new players, too. Like this guy named Dave Hole is, like, an incredible guitar player. And, um, and just about anything that catches my ear, I listen to. Was the last time you picked up a guitar and played a Metallica song, July 4th, when you played? 
You know, I was uh, I was trying out a guitar at some guitar store, and some kid came up to me and said, "Hey, play Nothing Else Matters," and I forgot how to play it. <laughs> so it's pretty embarrassing. So there you go. <laughs> we'll be back with more Headbangers Ball. <laughs> Metallica, now you guys haven't all gotten back here. Look, first time, Lars sitting behind drums in a long time. Behind the room. I mean, have you been spending much time practicing at all, like even by yourself? Yeah, I'll, I'll fiddle with some new amps that come out and remember, try to remember some chords and stuff. Were there any songs on the whole three year tour that you didn't do that you wished you would have performed live? No, we pretty much did all the ones we liked playing even though most of the people didn't like everything we played. Too bad. And out of all the songs that you played, which one would you say you're probably the sickest of doing right now? Uh, Entering of the Sandman. Is that because that was the most successful song? Would you agree with that? Most successful or the one that you're sick of playing? Which question? I said, is that's what he said, the most got sick of playing Enter Sandman more than playing any of the songs. Um, I mean, yeah, I got... I, I like playing it every time, but it did get it did get old. There's songs that I'd rather play. Jason likes everything. Like, yeah, I, I like the thing the thing that should not be or something like that. I would rather play the Inner Sandman at this point while we're standing right here. You know, if if we could still play it while we were standing right here, but I like it better than Sand. You feel a little bit rusty. Excuse me. You feel a little bit rusty. My so on Metallica songs. On Metallica songs, yeah. Overall, not really. No. Okay, we'll let you play. And this is first time these guys have played together for since July. Here's my guitar. I hear, I hear. Entering of the Sandman. Try it again. And a one, and a two, and a one, two, three. If it sounds bad, just blame it on other people. It's Metallica. <laughs> Got a guitar. You're in the room with Metallica. Look at that. How you feeling? Uh, I'm feeling real excited. This is like the kill. Put your hand out like this. Let me see your hand. Let me see. Let's get a little bit of shaking. A little bit of shaking. You're a little bit nervous. Yeah. I mean, did you ever nervous. think? Now you're about to play what song? Uh, Seek and Destroy. 
How many other Metallica songs do you know how to play? No. Okay, that's, yeah. uh, that, that's probably my number one Metallica song. So, so you're feeling pretty good here. Stand right up there. No, wait, don't stand on the Don't channel. stand up there. Watch out, watch out, because right when the drum kicks in, the pyro goes off right up there. So you got to watch out for the pyro. Watch out for the pyro. Huh? Okay, well, here's BJ playing with Metallica. with Metallica and this is the winner of Binge and Purge with Metallica and are you having a pretty good time BJ? Yeah I'm having a real good time. And it's kind of fun it's like watching a garage band sit and play Metallica songs but it's actually Metallica doing them I mean and he's been teaching you giving you a little bit of pointers. Yeah yeah. yeah. What do you think BJ got any talent Kirk? Yeah. Yeah. Killer. Okay, well, we're going to let them play right now, and we'll be back with more Headbangers Ball, hanging out with Metallica. Here's you to the Metallitones. PJ, you guys ready to sing some more backgrounds with Metallica? All right, man. Yeah. You having a good time? And you know we're about to leave here, and we're gonna go out to dinner with these guys. And you know what you're gonna get there, right? Yeah. What? Probably a beat. What? Probably a beat. A what? A beaten? Yeah. A beaten and maybe a road case, and uh, probably get to pick up the bill too. So right now, let's watch Metallica with the Metallitones. Once again, right now we're with our uh, contest winner. This is our old buddy, 
BJ from Cincinnati, Ohio. Yeah. Yep. That's you right. Yeah. Time? You've had yeah. Good time so far. You got to play guitar with Metallica, hang out with these guys. No, don't make him drink. On, on TV. And anyway, even though already you've gotten more than any human should possibly get, these guys are going to give you more. They're going to give oh, you more. Man. So Lars, tell them what we're going to bring in. Go ahead and bring it in. You're gonna, first of all, you're going to pick up the bill for everybody that ate dinner tonight. All right. And <laughs> tell me what this is. A big box of metallic krill. This is the real road case you guys brought on the road. Now open it up, see what's inside. Come on now. And hurry up because it might be breathing still. Careful, careful. There's the body! You know, search in there, oh search God. in there, because I think there's some, some wow. cool stuff You're all hidden in there. Person. Open this thing. Yeah. See if this, what's in here. Ow. <laughs> Open this thing up, see what's in here. Hey! Wait, 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 show this, show this. You, you want to show everybody this. Look at this. Oh, wow. This man stage. is so lucky. He time. has a piece <laughs> of our stage. Yeah. Whoa, Rad, right. look at that. Uh -oh. Piece <laughs> of the stage. <laughs> This is also what he gets. A full a full color pinup of Joey Tempest. Huh? Uh, 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 uh. uh this is like the greatest thing that's ever happened to me. Uh, I've been treated like a king. Tony took care of me. Everybody took care of me and y'all all y'all oh, great. They're all just great. They're they're just great people. I don't know what else to say. From Ohio. And you thought that was it? You mean there's more? There's, there's, even these guys don't know. What do you mean, well, you mean there's wait, more? there's one more thing that you get that we forgot more to even give you. It throat. cuts, yeah. it slices, it does, but it also face. does more. What? 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 What's Just that? when you, you thought that was it. Huh? You got a really big cardboard box. Man, I don't even have one of these. So put that. Oh, pull. Yeah, hey, 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 this is your side. This is your side, right here. Come on, boys. Come there you on. Go. That's it. There you go. Whoa! Whoa. Oh. That's it. <laughs> Name right there. Yes. Yes. Turn around. Let's everybody see your face. This is the face I made when I looked at it, and I'm still making it now. So <laughs> hold on a second. He's having a good time. Check it out. We have contests like this on MTV pretty much all the time. We're going to have another one. We're going to have one with Pantera. Now, if you want to find out all the details about Pantera's contest, Pantera's going to be our guest on the Headbangers Ball next Saturday night. I mean, look at this guy. He's had a pretty good night. Wait to hear about the Pantera contest. Check it out. Now, I know that there's Metallica fans all over the world that have been putting out, like, their own Metallica fanzines. Well, right now, Metallica's got their first, like, authorized fanzine. It's called... So what? It's the Metallica Club Magazine. The first issue's out now. I've been looking at it. It's very, very cool. It's got lists of all the different Metallica records. You'd be surprised. It also tells you about some of the bootleg records that you could never, ever get. And uh, this is written by the fans, for the fans, and it's got some really cool Metallica stuff. Now, if you want to get this, let me give you an address to write to. It's the Metallica Club, P.O. Box 18327, Knoxville, Tennessee, 37928-2327, USA. And uh, you can find out about how to join the Metallica Club and get So What. This is the first issue, and it's really, really killer stuff for you Metallica fans. Remember, next Saturday, we've got Pantera on the Headbangers Ball, and we'll find out about that Pantera contest. want to thank the winner, BJ, and his friend PJ. want to, of course, thank Metallica, thank Electra Records, thank uh, Tony for hanging out with us. And Look at this, man. This is very cool. See this? Look, very cool. Look. 12 million records. Not everybody's got one of these. <laughs> <laughs> Probably not everybody in the band has even got one of these. I'm Ricky Rackman. I'll see you next Saturday. Remember to keep one foot in the gutter, one fish in the gold. <laughs> Oh, hey.
a rumor coming around, gotta get out of town, I'm strung like a traffic phone. Here come the law, gonna break down the door, gonna tell me where we're going I never, ever get anymore, gotta get away from the phone, so crazy. 